Hello friends, welcome back to my channel MBB Mohit Sharma. In my last video, I told you how to create a control chart in Excel sheet. So topic of today's discussion is to create control chart in Excel sheet where you are showing two data sets together which is before the project and after the project. So let's get started with the video. Before we proceed, let us quickly revise what is a control chart. The control chart is a graph used to study how a process changes over time. A control chart always has a center line for the average, an upper line for the upper control limit and a lower line for the lower control limit. So we can call it a time series plot with control limits. The control limits are plus minus 3 standard deviation from the center line. So when we are creating control chart in the excel sheet, we will have to keep all these three points in our mind. So let's see how we can do that in the excel. Suppose you have these data points in which cycle time before improvement is represented in column A and cycle time after improvement is represented in column E. The first step that I told you in the last video is to calculate the average. We will simultaneously identify the average for after cycle time. The next step is to calculate the standard deviation. Similarly, we will calculate the standard deviation for cycle time after improvements. Now the next step is to plot data which will represent the center line of the control chart. Similarly, we will plot data for center line after improvements. The next point is to calculate the upper control limit. So as I told you while I was defining control charts that the upper control limit is plus 3 standard deviations from the center line. And the lower control limit is minus 3 standard deviations from the center line. Calculate the same for cycle time after improvements. So UCL would be and the LCL would be so the UCL is 1.82 and the LCL is 0.2385. Now how to plot both of these data together in one chart so that you can have a combined view of before and after cycle time in one graph. So let us look at that. For that, you have to stack both the data sets in one column. This is cycle time. This is mean or average or center line. And then you have UCL and you have LCL. Now copy and paste the before cycle time data. And copy paste the after cycle time data below this. Just remember one thing, when you paste this data, leave one row blank. Now you have stacked your data in one column before cycle time and after cycle time. And let us see how we can create that chart. So before you create the graph, you have to select the data. Then go to insert, line graph and double click on it to get the result. And the output is your control chart. And to make your chart look like a Minitab output, you need to select this template. Here, this portion represents the before cycle time and this portion represents the after cycle time. You can see the difference between the means, which is at this point was 4.11 and at this point it becomes 1.08. It means cycle time of this process has reduced from 4 hours to 1 hour. Now if you look at the variation of the process which was this huge earlier has now been reduced to this much. So friends now you can look at uh, that the variation as well as the reduction in the cycle time
can be shown in one graph by using Excel sheet. So friends, I hope you would have understood how to create this graph where you can show both the data sets before the project and after the project in one control chart and that too in Excel sheet. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.